Hey guys! So I just wanted to do a um, fairly quick video that just shows you kind of an everyday look that I have for myself. Um, go through the makeup, um, some of the brushes that I particularly like to use, although they're all great, um, and just kind of start with the basics. Um, and then if you have any questions, just post them in the comments uh, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. So I usually start, uh, I will put a moisturizer on because I have pretty dry skin <clears throat> and I'll let that kind of absorb into my skin like five, 10 minutes while I do other things, especially on my work days, things like that, where I don't have a lot of time. I will get up first thing in the morning, put my moisturizer on, do all the other little things, put my contacts in, that kind of thing while it absorbs. So um, just find yourself a little bit of time where it can kind of absorb into your skin before you go right into your makeup. So uh, I start with the setting spray. This is the same setting spray and they have um, a little perfector sponge. Uh, you start with a damp perfector sponge so you can get it wet and then squeeze it all the way out. Um, make sure that it's not like completely completely saturated, just a little bit damp on your hand. And then take your setting spray and just give like two little sprays there and then just kind of dab it all along your face. Um, and if you've watched a couple of my other videos, like I said before, this setting spray, it has like a really refreshing smell. It feels really refreshing when you put it on. Um, there's no like sensations or anything you know some things you put on you're like oh that tingles a little or something like that it's nothing like that it's just um to kind of prepare your face for the makeup and then at the end especially if i know that i'm gonna have a longer day work days things like that i'll give um a little spray to kind of finish up so all right so today i like i said i'm gonna do like a basic look that I everyday look nothing super glamorous um, and I'm gonna do it from this compact so this top portion has what I'll use for my face and then the bottom I have an illuminator in there and then eyes and my setting powder all right before I go right into the makeup um, I'm going to take this 3D brush, which I used yesterday, so you can see that it still has some of this contour on it. You don't have to clean your brushes every day, um, but some people like to. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how amazing their brush cleaner is. So you just take a old, this is just like an old washcloth, give it like two sprays. It smells so good. And then you just swirl your brush around. And I mean, it. I still didn't get it. That was my fault. But you just swirl it around on your little towel. It almost has like a light vanilla kind of scent. It smells really good. But the great thing about this spray is that say, you know, I was used to cleaning my brushes the night or like right after I finished using them or the night before so I could set them out and they would be dry in the morning. You don't have to worry about anything like this. I'm gonna go straight into using this brush. Okay, look at that. And the brush is dry. It's amazing. This is the brush cleaning spray. Okay, so I'm going to go into like my foundation. Um, so we know now that the foundation includes your main color, your brightener, and your contour. So I'm gonna take this, and all of Saints brushes are double-ended, which is fantastic because they can serve multiple purposes. Um, this 3D brush is amazing. Some other gals like to use different brushes. I really love this brush, so. Um, I'm going to take this rounded in here and I'm going to go into my main highlight. So that is, you can see this color right here. And I'm just going to dab. And then I'm going to go kind of all along my jawline. I mean, it's so little. You don't need very much at all. 
and I'm just gonna make little dabs. And as you'll see, as I put the colors on, there will be gaps. I'm not doing like a full kind of where all the colors touch because when you blend them all in, they're gonna blend flawlessly and they're gonna cover those gaps and everything. But trust me when I say you do not need a ton of this makeup to get great coverage. Um, so I'll do a little bit around my mouth, a little bit up my nose, like right around in here, where I get some redness, and then kind of the lower portion of my forehead. Okay. And then I'm going to flip my brush to this little pointy end and go into my brightener. So that is this light color here. Um, my brightener is moonlit, which is really, it's, I think it's the lightest foundation color they have. Just, it gives me a little bit more of a pop. I could go, I could shade down and be fine too, though. Um, if I wanted a little more subtle look, um, but this one has been great for me. So I'm going to take my highlight, my brightener highlight and put it just kind of like right there down my nose, my mouth and my chin. So you're creating a focal point for your face. Um, and then if you do have dark circles, you can color correct with some of the other um, foundations that have maybe a little more orange base because we know dark circles have kind of like a purpley or like blue undertone to them and that kind of cancels it out. Or you can do a lip and cheek. Uh, I just used Frenchie and that just kind of cancels out those dark circles that I get as a mom who doesn't get a ton of sleep. So still with the pointy end, I'm gonna go into, back into my brightener here and there. So right in the corner of my eye and then up, and then corner, up, boop, voila. All right, and then um, you can kind of, I'll brighten a little bit on my eyes, but I'll blend that in. And that kind of wipes off some of the excess on this pointy end, because I like to take this pointy end and go right into my contour. So that is this, that's Bella Bronzer. That, that's this uh, dark color here. And my contour that I'm using today is Astoria. All right, so I'll squish my brush and I'll kind of, just dab it in there to get it on the ends. And then find your cheekbone and go right on your cheekbone. So not in the hollow, but right on. And just, you can, not with your hair, make a little line there. And do the same on the other side. Find your cheekbone and just go right along. So you don't wanna bring this too much forward. You want to kind of keep it back because it's just supposed to, contour is just supposed to enhance your natural shadows. So that's what we're trying to do here. Um, we're not trying to create like a clownish look or anything, just a very natural look. And I'll go back into my dark contour and I will put it all along my forehead. You'll bring it kind of down because I will kind of meet the contour from my cheeks with the contour from my head. And then you can do like a little line down your nose and kind of connect them there. And you can put a little bit more of that brightener. You don't have to do that much. I got a little more on my finger than I planned. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to the contour. When I finish up, I can put a little bit under my lip. Um, it just kind of gives the illusion that my lips are a little bit fuller looking, so. All right, and then I'm gonna do my lip and cheek color, which for my everyday look, um, I usually go with Desert Sunset, which is this color here. It's just this very nice, subtle color um, that kind of gives you a little bit of a glow, but isn't just, it's not like a, like I would, like a glam going out night. Like I said, it's just this very subtle, beautiful color. Um, so I'm gonna pick up my, whoa, <laughs> I'm gonna pick up, not throw it, my blush and bronzer brush, which is also great. Um, and I'll use the Bella Bronzer here today and show that to you as well, um, which is what I use this big fluffy end for. And then I use this littler end for my blush, 
but if you're interested in the Bella bronzer, it does come um, with this blush and bronzer brush in a bundle. Um, so if you look under the bundle tabs, it's there um, and you can save some money if you bundle those two together. And I mean, I have no regrets about getting the Bella bronzer, which I love, and I'll put that on today um, and having this brush. I mean, it's just something I, I love to have in my toolkit. So I'm gonna take this little smaller end and I'm gonna just dab into Desert Sunset. And right where my contour is, I'm just gonna go up. And you can see where there are gaps. I mean, I'm not covering every single thing. This is very light. Like I said, these cream um, foundations are very pigmented. You don't need a ton to get good coverage. So always keep that in mind. Um, when I started, I think I was using just a little bit too much. Um, but once I realized that you don't have to use very much at all, like the coverage is amazing and the look is just so much better, so flawless. So I'm gonna pick up my 3D brush and I'm gonna use this end here. And I'm just gonna start blending my colors in. So I'll start with my lighter colors. So all along my jaw and like the lower portion of my face, my mouth, kind of around my nose, my eyes. And the great thing about this makeup is that once you get all this blended, if you feel like you need a little more coverage somewhere, it's super buildable. And you can just put that coverage where you need it without an overall cakey look, you know, like you can get with some um, foundations when you're trying to cover blemishes um, or if you have any like redness or any other skin problems. And then for your nose, it's just very light, kind of tapping to blend those in. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into my darker contour. Oh, got a piece of fuzz there. <laughs> and so for the darker contour, I'm just kinda kinda buff. I'm gonna buff it up into my hairline and down just a little bit. But I'm leaving that bright triangle right here that's the focal point for my face. But this makeup blends so easily. There are no lines, it's just a contoured, like kind of natural transition. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my cheeks. So I blend my contour up a little bit and then just lightly, you can see, it's just like this very subtle um, kind of glow. And then sometimes once I get it blend, blended, um, you know, if you feel like you've over blended it or anything like that, or if you feel like you just need a little bit more color, um, you can go back in and just, there might be some pigment still left on your blush brush and just kind of go back. Okay, now I'm going to do the Bella bronzer, which is so fantastic. Um, I've had so many bronzers in the past that I've just been kind of afraid to use because I was afraid it was going to make me look kind of orangey and unnatural. This Bella bronzer is so awesome. It's this one right here. Um, so you can kind of see the difference between it and the contour. The contour is a little more, it's a little more gray tint to it. This is a little more brown because it's a warmer color and it's supposed to just look like, give you a little bit of a sun kiss. Um, so I'm gonna take the floofier end, so the big end of my blush and bronzer brush and just kind of dab around and cover all those bristles, you can see. And then I'm gonna hold it back here so they don't have like too much application in one area. So I'm gonna hold it pretty far back in the middle of the brush or even a little further back and I'm just gonna start on my cheeks and do circles up. 
into my forehead and I can do a little down here. But if you can see the warmth that this added just from this little bit of bronzer, it really is one of my favorite things. And especially with summer coming up and everything, uh, I'm at a certain age where I try to avoid too much sun. Um, and so I need some other means to make me look a little more sun-kissed. So self-tanners, bronzers, those kinds of things. Okay, um, do the same thing to the other side. So I'm just kind of dabbing in there, getting the brush, the, it all along the bristles, and then holding it back and swirling up. And then too, if you feel like your contour is not all the way blended out or, um, you know, your blush didn't blend out all the way. This also kind of melds that together. And I'll do a little bit along my jawline. And then you can put a little bit kind of down your neck too, just to kind of meld that look together. All right, what do you guys think? I mean, it's crazy how this all comes together. And like I've said before, um, these videos seem like they're take, they take a little bit longer of a makeup application. Um, once you get the hang of it, and I'm not like going through everything step by step, my routine in the morning is five minutes. It's so easy. And if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so now, there we go. Okay, so now we'll go into our illuminator, which today I'm gonna use this really pretty, it's called Angel. And I'll just take my finger and kind of go along my brow bone. And then you can put a little bit go along your cheekbone. It's anywhere kind of like the light catches. And then a little bit down my nose. And you can blend that out if you need to. Okay. And then I am a naturally shiny person. I have combination skin. Um, so my T-zone will get oilier throughout the day. So I love the Vanilla Dust Setting Powder, which is this one right here, um, just in areas where I know I'm going to get shinier throughout the day. So this is their powder brush, also double-ended. Um, some people like this for makeup application. This is a pretty dense end too that you can you know, just kind of press to blend things. And it's really great. I like to use this more tapered end for the, um, the powder. So I just kind of sweep it in there and then I will go along the sides of my nose this wrinkle, ugh, wrinkles, <laughs> and I'm just kind of pressing in, and then I'll go along the underside of my eye, and then kind of, you know, like I said, my T-zone, so right here, and that just kind of, it also has like this great, almost like blurring effect, if you can tell. Um, and so I will just put that there because I know, I know that I'm gonna get shiny. Okay, now we'll go into eyes and get my brushes here. So this is their multitasker brush. Um, so it's got like this little tapered in here and then this little tiny pointy in here. It's what I like to do to fill in my brows. Uh, I don't have great brows naturally, as I've said before. Um, so I could try and brush them up and make them look a little more natural. It's not going to happen for me. <laughs> I dye my eyebrows so that they're a little bit darker, um, because they just, I didn't get blessed with great eyebrows. Um, but those of you that were blessed with great eyebrows, you can also use your contour to fill those in. I use one of their powder eyeshadows, um, cause it just gives them a little bit more like 
of a fluffier look. You know, you can see the, the hairs a little better. So I'm gonna go in with this pointy in here into uh, cocoa. So it's like this brown eyeshadow um, that I use to fill in my brush. I mean, my brush, my brows. Um, and then I don't wanna shock you guys, but my hair isn't this naturally um, reddish kind of brown. <laughs> um, but cocoa, I feel like has a little bit, um, a little bit of a red undertone to it. So it actually matches my current hair color perfectly. Um, I say current hair color because my hair color has been known to change quite frequently. So I'm just gonna go in and tap and then I'm going to just use small tick marks just to kind of fill in all the sparse areas, which for me are quite a few. And then I'll just bring that down, kind of finish the tail there. And you can see the difference. Um, so like I said, my natural brows aren't that great. So this is not as of a natural brow look. Um, I wish I could have that look, but it's not, it's not gonna, it's not in the stars for me. Um, so this is what I have to work with. And uh, if you're similar to me, then I am here to help you out. Um, but I know a lot of girls with some great brows um, and there are a lot of products and stuff that they can use too. Um, they have a brow wax, Saint does, um, that's great for natural brows and enhancing like that natural brow look. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know and I will try and get um, some examples of artists that have used the brow wax. Um, for a really, you know, natural brow look. Okay, so I like to do my brows just because it kind of, for me, it gives me just like a finished look. Um, okay, so now just for my everyday eyeshadow look, I use these three colors. This is Rome, Sabrina, and Ivy League. Ivy League is like a greenish color and I have green eyes and green is also my favorite color. Um, so I will use that as more of like a liner for me just to kind of darken up um, and kind of enhance this portion of my eye, which I'll show you. Okay, and then if you'll notice in this compact here, this little black tile here is the brush cleaning tile. So it's like this spongy type material and you can swirl your brush around in it and it gets off any of the excess pigment that might be on there before you go into your next um, eyeshadow color. So it's a really great tool to have. Okay, so this is their eyeshadow brush. It has this fluffier end here and then this little denser end here. And this is a fantastic eyeshadow brush. I love this thing. So I'm gonna take my fluffier end and I'm gonna go into Sabrina. So that's this lighter color here. And that's what I kind of use as my base color. And I'll tap off the excess pigment and then I'll hold my brush further back and swoosh that all along my eyelid. And I'll come up and all the way up into my illuminator that I put on there, kind of under a little bit. And it just kind of brightens up my eye as a base. I'll go in and do the other eye, so just kind of swirling, swooshing motions. And then just a little bit under. Okay. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to take this denser end and I'm going to go into Rome. I'm going to tap off the excess. And this, it's not very dark at all, but it's a, it's a shade darker than Sabrina. So it may be hard to tell on camera. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of make a V here and come up. And it just kind of gives a little bit of dimension. Um, but like I said, this is just an everyday look. So I'm not trying to go, you know, all out. This takes me, you know, one minute in the morning 
um, there we go. And then you can kind of flip the brush around and just kind of blend them out so there's not harsh lines or anything like that. Okay. Now for this dark Ivy League, like I said, I use that as more of like a liner color. Um, and I like to use this little tapered end of the multitasker brush, but you could also use this pointy end, which I'll show you here. So I can go into my brush cleaning tile and swirl it in from where I did my brows. And I can go into Ivy League and use it as a little bit of a liner. I like to line my, the top of my lids. I have kind of large eyes, like a bug. Um, and so for me, I just feel like it, it adds a little more like a dim, like dimension, like I said, and I can blend out any, it just adds a little bit for me that I feel like my large eyes need. And then you can kind of take it just a little bit down, not a ton, maybe like you know, the first third of your eye. But you can see what a huge difference that makes. All right, do the other eye. I got a little crazy on that one. Hopefully you can't hear my stomach grumbling. <laughs> And then just down this first kind of third portion here. All right. And then I feel like I got a little more on this side than I did. There we go. All right, so it's a look I dig. If it's not for you, there are just thousands of other looks that you can try. And kind of blend that out a little bit. And then I'll take a little bit more of, I'll clean this in. I'll take a little bit of Sabrina, that bright color, and put it just a little bit in the corner there. there we go. Alrighty. And then we finish with mascara. Um, well, not, not completely finished. I finish with lips. Um, I don't know. And I've gotten other comments that for whatever reason, I just feel like lips is a finishing touch. So um, I'll do my lips last with that desert sunset and kind of bring it all together. All right. So let me put my mascara on here. In the last video I did with mascara, um, <laughs> it, my mascara kind of fell onto my cheek and transferred onto my lid. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to try some other mascaras here coming up and I will post those little mascara reviews. There we go. That's not too bad. Um, I'm a blinker apparently when I apply I can look now that it's brought to my attention look how much I blink <laughs> all right and we'll do the other eye isn't it crazy what mascara does for <laughs> I you know those memes where it's always like what's what are two things you can't live without and it lists all this stuff mascara is always almost one of them I don't know if that's sad or or what I love mascara if I were going to go Bare-faced all day. I think I would still put some mascara on. Alrighty. Alright. Oh, I got a little clumpy. There. Much, much better. 
than the last time. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Now let's finish up with um, some, ah, sorry, let's finish up my lips. And they have a conditioner, a lip conditioner, which is fantastic. They have cherry or peppermint. And I got the cherry one. And it's like a milk-based conditioner. It smells so good. And it feels so good on. And I, my lips have been so dry lately. So I've been putting the conditioner on first. And then I will go into my lip color, which I said, oh, can you see it? Is Desert Sunset. And then I'll just put that over top. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think. Um, this makeup is so easy to use. Like I said, anybody can do it. If you go back to the beginning of this video and looked at what I you know, started with compared to what it looks like as a finished product, it just, it blows my mind almost every time I put it on. And one of the amazing things about this makeup is like, I, it, I look forward to putting my makeup on in the morning. It's not like a task that I have to do anymore or feel like I need to do um, to look finished or professional or, you know, whatever. It's something that I really enjoy doing, which is why I'm doing this now um, and why I became a Saint artist um, because I love it so much. I have never found makeup that is so versatile that I love so much. I'm like, how great are these compacts? How amazing would this be to travel with? Um, to go on vacation with. You don't have to take, a, you know, a huge makeup bag and all this stuff. I mean, you can take a couple brushes and one compact and be set. And you can just carry it in your purse and always have it to do your touch-ups and everything. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. It's, I am so grateful um, that I was introduced to it. And I feel so lucky to be able to introduce you guys to it. So, like I said, if you have any questions, post them in the comments um, and I'll be happy to answer those for you. And if this is something that you're interested in, message me, let me know, and uh, we can get you color matched and kind of get you started. Um, and another great thing about Saint is that they have always free shipping and a 30-day money-back guarantee. So, if it's not for you, which I can't imagine it wouldn't be, but if it's not, um, or say you end up not liking that color or you know you get it on you've got a little bit of a tan or if we're transitioning to another season and you know you need to shade down or something from when you sent your picture and we're color matched um you know when you first order it and you get that color you put it on you're like oh this doesn't really match you know we can switch you out and get you the right shade so um you really have nothing to lose i'm telling you guys this stuff is amazing so I can't say enough good things about it, um, as, you, as you've heard before, but uh, I'm, I'm having fun. So thanks for joining me, and I hope you guys learned some, some, some tips and tricks and, you know, a little bit more about the makeup. And again, if you have any questions, please ask. All right, have a great day. Bye.